Hello and welcome to your Chinese New Year forecast. This video is for the zodiac sign of the snake. You are a snake if you were born in the year 1953, 65, 77, 89, or 2001. So if you were not born in those years, go to the description below this video and I have listed out all the different Chinese zodiac signs and the link for those videos. So this video is for the snake and I thought it would be fun in honor of the Chinese New Year that takes place on February 16th to do a tarot reading forecast based upon your Chinese zodiac sign opposed to your Western zodiac sign. So I hope that you enjoy this forecast to give you a little bit of information about the snake that's you. They say that snakes are very private people. It's hard to get to know them. They select their close friendships and um, partnerships, romantic partnerships carefully and it takes a lot for the snake to open up and share everything about who they are, okay? Also, it is said that they are the most spiritual and wise of the Chinese zodiac. So, keep that in mind. And on top of that, they say that the snake is also very materialistic, enjoys the material world quite a bit. Now, um, I'm not doing this in all of the readings, but for you guys, I thought I would share this little bit of info because it's actually pretty neat. So, in the Chinese zodiac, there are five different elements. So, you are either a wood snake, a fire snake, earth snake, gold snake, or water snake. Again, it's contingent upon the year you were born. So, you are a wood snake if you were born in 1965, and it is said that you are orderly, intelligent, with a gift for appreciating the arts and a refined taste. You are a fire snake if you were born in 1977, and it is said that you are smart, insightful, communicative, active, and found and fond of the limelight, and could also be found in the limelight. You are an earth snake if you were born in 1989. You are calm with a strong self-control, but not steadfast and diligent enough to work. Okay, so you are a very flowy, moving energy. Um, I, if I didn't say you were born in 1989, if you were an earth snake. If you are a gold snake, you are born in 1941 or 2001 and you are determined, courageous, confident, and a born leader. You are a water snake if you were born in 1953. You are clever, creative, lively, communicative, and sentimental. So the different elements definitely um, dictate your character. It is said that the snake is most compatible with a dragon or a rooster, your enemies are the tiger, rabbit, goat, and pig. So, with that said, the new Chinese year is bringing us the year of the earth brown dog, and that is energy of building and um, creating stability, building a dream so that it can come into fruition, okay? So, for you guys, let's pull a card to see what your theme is for this new Chinese year. Love, look at that, nice, nice, nice. So this could be love uh, for a number of different things. This could be romantic love. This could be love for a child. This could be friendship love. This could be love for a hobby, love for your passion, love for your fellow man, love for humanity. It's just the energy and vibration of the love, love energy is your theme for the year. So let's uh, pull some more cards to see how that plays out. What does that mean exactly? No matter what, that's a beautiful energy to have as your theme for the year because 
I'm only looking at the positive aspects of the new Chinese year for you because I feel like when you're looking ahead you should be filled with optimism you know that's not to say bad things won't happen but we deal with those as they come and we shouldn't be afraid and stop living our life in anticipation of what bad could happen because there's going to be a lot of good things that happen so we are going to focus on that energy so I feel like a, like two shuffles in a row, like back to back with these. Okay, that one definitely wanted to come out. All right. I feel like this is a um, bonus energy, so I'm just going to put that off to the side because that's a very specific message. So, nice, I love it. This is a great and beautiful card for representing February, March, April because that's the energy of this card. You see it's card number one and you see that beautiful full moon behind this woman. And that full moon to me is representing the full moon, blood moon that we just had in Leo on January 31st, okay? So that was significant energy for you as the snake, and that energy, that eclipse, that full lunar eclipse that came with that full moon, those energies are working with you throughout 2018. And this here is talking about new beginnings, movement forward, letting go of the past. So that's beautiful this definitely could be talking about a new love relationship as well and then this here is not holding on to something tightly we're letting something go because we want to give it the room to either grow or we're letting something go because you know it's just not working and we think to ourselves if it's meant to be it will come back if it doesn't come back it's not meant to be and something different will come in its place okay wow and then we have this here um i'm sorry this represents may june july and now here we are august september october and this is an energy of love and nurturing and things of that nature so for some of you not all of you obviously this is a general reading but for some of you this could mean that there is pregnancy um conception that takes place in the early part of the year which brings about a birth of a child you know August September October not for all of you but for some of you that definitely applies oh my goodness gracious and look at this <laughs> with paired up with love yeah um, that is a theme that that conception right here for many different signs that I've read for so, a snake, for some of you, becoming a parent, conceiving a child, and giving birth is a primary focus for some of you out there this year, like hugely. Um, some of you, this could be where you've struggled with conception, and you finally let the idea go. Where And then guess what? You finally get pregnant on your own, or you're finally able to adopt a child, okay? Because we have two babies here, so that's a huge significant energy now for others of you obviously that's not going to apply and what I feel about this is these are either new relationships it could be a relationship and a new career path a new creative project a new interest something like that okay because we start out with this fresh new energy we're embracing the future we're optimistic we're positive the full moon and eclipse energy really change things up for us okay and you are contemplating what is it that I desire you know how do I want my future to move forward and you let go I don't feel yeah I'm gonna have to draw more cards to really you know focus in on that energy but I don't feel like you let go of something that devastates you it's more like you're loosening your grip on something and letting the universe it's like letting go and letting God pretty much 
which then brings forth the manifestation or the new creative energy or the new opportunities that you were trying to achieve so hard in the early part of the year. So let's draw some more cards to get more information about that. Man, lots of new beginnings for people and births of babies. Whew. Beautiful card. This here is saying February, March, April. You are singing the praise of others or others are singing the praise of you. This is really beautiful energy. It pairs nicely with this theme of love. This is energy back and forth between you and other people where you are building them up. They are building you up. There's beautiful things being said about you and you are saying beautiful things about others. So there's like this new version of you or this connection, these new connections that you're making February, March, April, and they just feel good. They're very uplifting. They're inspiring. And then here, look at this, 20, 24, and then this is card 25. This here is saying that you have all the information that you need, okay? You're wise, you know a lot, and I think that's why you're loosening your grip on something. And you're kind of letting it go because you understand the way life works. And what's meant to be is what's meant to be. And you just get that in a very profound way, May, June, July. And you're very wise. And nice, look at this. This is the goddess. This is the harvest, yes. Paired with this card here. Um, this is nurturing. This is conceiving. This is conception. This is fertility. This is new beginnings. This is all positive energy. It's like the beautiful rains to the thirsty crops so they can grow. It's the nurturing love from mother to child. It's beautiful, soft energy. It's about harvest, reaping reward. Um, definitely strong energy of conception, pregnancy, birth, um, August, September, October. Whew. And then, wow, this here, yeah, this is the thinking pool, okay? This is intuition, self-reflection, connecting with your soul. And um, the second half of the Chinese New Year, it's like, this is when things really get started for you guys where you conceive the baby, you, you adopt the baby, you give birth to the baby, you conceive the new idea, you um, start putting your idea into physical form, you're really connected with your soul, you're nurturing a dream, you're nurturing a relationship, you're nurturing a child, okay? This is general, so what you're nurturing, what you're growing, what you're holding close, closely is different for all of you. So let's pull some tarot to get more information. It's unbelievable how much this card has come out. I think maybe one reading it didn't come out in and you guys are my six. So, just crazy. New beginnings all around. Lots of babies. Lots of babies being born. Lots of babies being conceived. Lots of dreams being conceived. Lots of dreams being born. Um, new relationships. Beautiful new energy for you guys. For the snake, okay? I feel like those go with that 
secondary message, but that goes with this. So we'll put those over there. All right. So we have the high priestess that had to jump out here. And again, look at this. We have another full moon right there. Yeah, that full moon on the 31st, that full lunar eclipse. Big deal for you guys. Huge shift of energy for the snake. Um, here we have the Knight of Swords upright, which is great. This is communication. This is logic. This is wisdom. Like you are moving from, you know, the wisdom of your soul, the experience of life, the logic of your mind, not through the emotions of your heart. You're not. You are too wise, okay? And then we have the Palace of Swords Reverse. So yeah, this is something coming to fruition that you really thought could never happen. Okay, you gave up on it. You were like, I just don't know that this is going to come into fruition. And it does. And then look at here. This is the Two of Wands. So here we have a choice. A choice of which path we would like to go down whereas maybe earlier in the year we didn't really feel like we had an option at all and now as we end the year we realize that we have multiple options available to us so still still vague energy so i'm going to pull the energy oracle here and see what comes out because I don't see cards that jump out of romantic love, okay? This doesn't mean this isn't talking about a beautiful romantic partnership that, you know, maybe be a, a little rocky at the start, but come the second half of the year, it's beautiful and solid, okay? Much more connected at the soul because we do have the love here, but, you know, that's not a very strong energy pushing through these cards. This could really be all about you and self-love for you where you are finally putting yourself first and <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me they say that you are most like the people you're around most often and for some of you this might be where you're deciding to be in a place of solitude more connecting more with yourself and your own soul working on self-improvement and that's what all this energy is about and you know come the second half of the year there's fruition there's things coming through that you just didn't think could happen you didn't think were going to be possible so let's pull some energy oracle for the snake let's see what area of life this is specifically talking about we have all tied up yeah like I said we're wanting this new beginning we're embarking on this new path but we're not quite sure if we can if we have the ability to okay um, it could be the circumstances but as you see the energy progress and unfold yes you can here we have patience this is wow the way this is pairing up yeah you're at first you know you are positive you are optimistic but you might not feel like you have a, a much room to move but then you know we come into may june july and you decide to just let all expectation go and you have patience and excitement for what could be it's not this is not a sad energy okay and then you know here we have this energy august september october and we have the temple path so yeah this is the universe bringing something into fruition that you thought would never happen and now we have here five attachment and since we're looking at the positive aspect of things this attachment here to me means that this new idea is going to stick this new version of you is going to stick you are going to make the decision to go on this new path this adoption is going to go through this pregnancy is going to happen it's going to yield a healthy child okay there's love energy all around you that's your theme 
And then we have Temperance, the King of Cups, and the Eight of Coins reversed. Yes, along with this, this here is saying that no matter what it is that you are striving for or working for in 2018, you are going to be balanced in your emotions about it. And you are going to be willing to let go and give up anything and everything. If you feel like the energy isn't right, you feel like there's resistance, okay? You're really going to rely on your connection to the universe and your faith in whatever higher power you believe in. Like, that is really directing you. Your soul is really pushing you and directing you in 2018 and come you know the snake being the most spiritual sign of the chinese zodiac i'm not surprised to hear that it's like this energy here is telling me like no matter what's going on what you're going through you are still singing praise to the universe to others all right you are in a positive vibration and you're just flowing with life and letting things be what they be not letting your emotions control you and dictating dictate what you do okay and then the second half of the year is when the manifestation starts taking place for you and things that you didn't think were possible or could happen actually do and you are amazed so let's pull some Wisdom Oracle to see what blessings are sure to come for the snake in the year of the Earth Brown Dog. We have the here and now, yes, 2018. Bam, it's happening. Things that you just gave up on, that you let go of in an easy form. Like, I'm just going to go on about my path. Like, bam, it happens here and now. The observer. We have this uh, new moon here. This could be speaking to the Aquarius new moon on February 14th or the new moon in Leo that happens in August. I don't know the exact day, I don't remember. Or the energy between those moons because between those moons is all this eclipse energy. So the start of eclipse, uh, uh, the start of eclipse season, February. Well, end of January, February. The completion of eclipse season, end of July, August, okay? So that is significant energy for you. And as a blessing, this is saying the more you step back and observe and allow life to be what it be, that's how the energy just flows right in. And then we have breathe. Things are going to get easier for you, okay? If they've been really heavy and hard, your own beautiful energy is what's creating this complete shift for you where you can finally relax, you can finally breathe, you're finally getting what it is that you've worked hard for, that you desire, but it's something you just kind of let drift away. Whether it's a person, an idea, a goal, a desire, you just kind of let it go. And you trust the universe that what is meant for you will be. And your vibration is that of love that is the frequency of you that's where you're vibing all of 2018 okay and the second half that's when all the magic looks like it starts unfolding and it's because you just let let it go and you're patient and you're just i don't know your energy is very beautiful very stable very pure very wise very trusting of the universe in the year of the earth brown dog so that's what i have for the snake i hope that you have enjoyed this reading and i am wishing you all the best take care